This isn't the weekend vlog, is it? No, but it is an asking me anything video, and that means it could get real interesting real fast. Let's do this. Hello guys, who are you? David Bryan here, davidbryan.co. But for the purpose of today's video, I'm gonna plug my Facebook, facebook.com slash David DeFranco. Please follow me, I post daily. And without Facebook, this video would not be made possible. Well, unless I use Twitter, Instagram, email, Patreon, my own website, some kind of forum, AOL Instant Messenger. I I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. AIM is dead, unfortunately. Rest in peace. Okay, but for real. Ask me anything, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Carson Keller, what do you think of the cashierless Amazon store in Seattle? Okay, I've watched a couple of videos on this. I have yet to actually visit the store, obviously, but hopefully I will at some point in my life. I think it's incredible. I think it is an amazing step forward in the world of retail. Now, does it get rid of jobs? Yes and no. Yes, because there's not going to be any cashiers. Obviously, it's a cashierless store. Uh, but no, because there's still people in the store helping you with questions that you may have. Not only that, according to This Week in Tech, the newest episode, I learned that there are people next door in the kitchen making sandwiches fresh and making food fresh and the fruits and all that stuff. So yeah, there are still people with jobs. Are there less jobs in a store when compared to somewhere like ShopRite, Target, Walmart? Of course. But then again, this is kind of the way moving forward and I think it's amazing. Jason Robinson, will you be getting Mario Kart when it is out for iOS and Android? Hell yes. You know what? I'm just so glad Apple is Apple. There I go again. Why do I always compare Apple and Nintendo? Guys, honestly, in some ways, Nintendo and Apple are quite similar, and perhaps I'll talk about that in a future video. But uh, yes, Nintendo, I'm just really glad that they're finally taking the whole mobile app market seriously. Now, unfortunately, this means, yeah, we only get like one or two games per year on iOS and Android. But so far, I'm impressed. We've got Super Mario Run and Animal Crossing, which are both great games. A little repetitive after a while, but still, they're a great attempt in getting themselves, you know, into the uh, world of apps. And I think it's amazing. Uh, but Mario Kart on iOS and Android, yes, that definitely has a lot of potential. Simone Rochelle, what's it like being famous on YouTube? I'm not famous. And of course, Jordan Hodel has to be an asshole in saying famous, LMFAO. First of all, I don't think I'm famous, uh, but Jordan, you don't have to respond with that comment. And well, for that, I'm gonna block you. Don't be an asshole. Oh, here we go. Here you go, ready? Block. I don't put up with BS. My good friend, Josiah James Harrison Benjamin with the world's longest name. Hey David, if you were laundry detergent, what would you be and why? Uh, that would easily be a Tide Pod. That way I could force myself on my haters and they would eat me like the idiots that they are and they would slowly suffer. But seriously, I would not be a laundry detergent. I am perfectly content with being a human. Uh, do, do, do. Justin St. Dennis, what are your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch, the games, etc.? I think it's great. I'm not playing my Switch a lot right now because honestly, I've been mostly on PC. Xbox One and PS4, but the Switch is great. It has a lot of solid games, and real quick, I'll tell you some of my favorite games. Mario and Rabbids I haven't opened yet, but I will soon, I promise. Uh, Arms is not worth it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, amazing game. Do, 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 what else? Skylanders Imaginators, it's actually kind of solid. I say actually because it's my first game in the series ever. It's extremely easy, like they literally hold your hand the whole time. Uh, but still, solid game, and um, no, I didn't finish it yet, but I will eventually. Breath of the Wild, oh my god. The most impressive, no, one of the most impressive games in general. I was gonna say the most impressive Zelda game ever, which, yes, that holds true, but this is easily one of the most enjoyable games I've ever had the joy of playing through. It's just, play it, please, play it. If you have a Switch, there's no reason to not have this in your collection. Uh, Lego City on the cover, solid. And Super Mario Odyssey, of course I have to mention this. Amazing game all around. Perhaps a little easy throughout, but um, overall, solid, solid experience. Let's see here, let's see here. Sean Westervelt, pineapple on pizza? Eh, 
I've had it once and it was okay. Now, this is a good question. And I don't think they mean to be rude because believe me, I don't, I don't take this in a rude way, but they're absolutely correct. Chris England says, for such a neat freak slash borderline OCD sufferer, which I am, oof, how do you cope with cat hair? With a lot of patience. Believe me, cat hair drives me nuts. I don't always show this on camera, but it literally drives me crazy. Like if I see one little tiny black Maui fur on my brand new white desk, I get frustrated and I wipe it off. And then of course I find another fur and another fur. But at the end of the day, I love my cat. Right, Maui? You're just a cute cat overall. God, you're warm. You're a good key. All right, but seriously, go over there. Good boy, good boy. So there you go. As a pet lover, it's just something you learn to deal with over time. Because pets, in my eyes, are family. Who do we have next? Who do we have next? Kevin Epergesi, a personal friend of mine. Do you think Apple's HomePod can take over Amazon Echo Alexa? Never mind. And do you see people replacing their Echoes for the HomePod? Absolutely not. Because if you're spending $350 on a smart speaker, you're doing it for mainly one thing, at least I am, audio quality. Because guys, as much as I love my Echo devices, you simply cannot get amazing sound quality out of them directly. Now, of course, you can do line out on certain ones and that's pretty cool. Echo Show right there. And I have an Echo Dot in here. Alexa. Hello. Hi there. They're great, but they just cannot compare to the HomePod in regards to audio quality. Now, of course, I don't have the HomePod in my possession yet. So uh, yeah, I'm just making assumptions based on reviews I've read and reviews I've watched on YouTube and 9 to 5 Mac and all that stuff. Uh, but I think it's pretty obvious. You just cannot compare a $350 speaker to something that costs between what? 30 and $100? Still though, great question. Uh, do 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 do. Elizabeth Ashley Ostrich? I've always had trouble with that. Can we film a video together one day? It's very possible. It's very possible. Uh, Matt Miller, would you ever do a fan meetup? Maybe, but I have this horrible fear that nobody would ever show up because sometimes I think I'm a nobody. So I don't know. We'll see. What was the device that started your love of tech from Ben Brady? That's really hard to answer because this must have gone way back. It may have been Atari 2600 or the ColecoVision because my dad was a big gamer back then and he used to hack games for the Atari. Yeah, we got a bunch of free games on uh, discs and yeah, it wasn't exactly legal. And I didn't really know that as a kid. I just thought it was normal to have all those games on one diskette. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe it was the Atari consoles or Atari computers, if you want to call them that, or the ColecoVision. Honestly, guys, it's kind of difficult to tell because this was years ago. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that the Atari and ColecoVision products had something to do with my love for tech. Let's do a few more here, shall we? Do, do, do. Would you ever want kids? Maybe one day, not really a concern right now. I'm kind of worried about myself, my career, growing myself as a content creator, but I'm not against having kids. And would you ever get married? Same answer, I'm not against it. It's not a primary focus of mine, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Ladies, hit me up. Oh, and also that was from Jacqueline Rislin. So thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, CJ Brown, are you gonna be doing a Christmas party this year? Vlog, Vlog. No, no. Jose Gonzalez, where in the world would you like to visit or move to in the future? I would love to live in California. That's always been a dream of mine because you're just surrounded by tech and startups and the world's best brands are there. Uh, but in terms of visiting, I've always had a fascination with Tokyo. So that could happen at some point. I say that like it will, but it probably won't. But you never know, guys. You never know. Victor, Jack Logic of like a kick. Would you buy the Canon EOS 90D if it would have 4K, more autofocus points, and more megapixels? Greetings from Switzerland. Simple answer, yes, because I'm a huge fan of my 80D. This is honestly the best camera I have ever bought myself. Is it pricey? Hell yeah. Is it worth it? <laughs> of course. So yes, a 4K compatible 90D? Sign me up, dude.
And finally, let's wrap this video up with one very important question from Jason Lee. Jason says, if you could have nipples for fingers or fingers for nipples, what would you choose? Nipples for fingers or fingle or fingles or fingers for nipples. Dude, fingle, what the? Fingers for nipples would be kick ass. Just imagine these pecs. That would, that would just be incredible. You got me all excited. There you go, guys. Ask me anything. I loved it. And if you enjoyed this new like vlog-like style of AMA, let me know in the comments right below. Your support means a lot. And I'll guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.